Today we got on a little Chief Keith the Drill Legend. Bang, bang, Sosa, baby. Whatever you want to call him, just don't call him soft, you feel me? They say he banned from Chicago, talking about he can't go back for his show, talking about dirt, got money on his head, this and that. And it all started because he didn't want to pay Dirk Bond from jail because Dirk put himself in a situation and he felt like Chief Keith should have paid his bond to get him out. What? We're not looking good for Dirk. After being booked into jail, a Cook County judge set Lil Dirk's bond to $100,000, which means that in order to be released, Dirk would need to come up with 10% of that money in cold hard cash. Despite being signed to Def Jam at the time, it seems that Lil Durk didn't have access to $10,000. Oh, Lil Durk was mad he signed a deal and they have $10,000. So what they signed you for, $500? is insane. Let's start there. But Keefe didn't show much of an interest in wanting to help Lil Durk out. While this was never confirmed by Durk or Keefe themselves, it's pretty clear that there was something going on between the two. When Lil Durk was initially arrested, members of Oblock, 300, 600, and more were tweeting out their condolences to Lil Durk. Chief Keefe, on the other hand, didn't post anything on social media about Dirk other than this. You know, one thing about uh, gang members, they gonna glorify that street shit. Like, man, ain't nobody put them boys in jail. They did their own thing. Riding around this bitch nigga, they ain't untouchable. Like, what the fuck? Cryptic Chief tweet Keefe, on June 13th, 2013, saying, OTG, hashtag, only the glow, which is a play on Lil Dirk's OTF, only the family. Dirk sat in the Cook County Jail for over a month before he could come up with the $10,000 bond money to be released. And according to- uh, That's crazy, bro. So Dirk mad because Chief Keefe ain't paid his bill. Like, come on now. And, and got everybody. He, now he trying to make people pick sides and shit. Like, you know, normal street shit. Nigga be trying to, man, you fuck with him. I ain't fucking with dude. Lame ass shit, bro. Dirk got beat up in jail and even mentioned that the notorious shooter D. Rose wouldn't even leave his cell. Once home free, Dirk took to Twitter and tweeted the infamous lyrics to Chief Keefe's first day out, further hinting at the fact that Keefe didn't bother to help him get out of jail. Days later, Chief Keefe would once again tweet OTG. Lil Dirk would- That's one thing about Chief Sosa, he ain't care. He said, fuck them boys, OTG, he's standing alone. Would then proceed to go on somewhat of a rant on Twitter, starting out with shouting out Lil Reese and Fredo Santana for keeping it real with him. Then goes on to say that Chief Keefe would have been killed if it wasn't for his affiliation with 300. Dirk then states that he's better off beefing with the opposition and seems to banish Chief Keefe from the block by saying, Dirk a little too hot. I said, how you gonna ban a Chicago drill legend from his block, man? Your ass is banned for that, bro. But it, it worked though, Spend but it, it did Because you can't come around here with it. 10 minutes later, Lil Dirk continues his rant by saying, all the money but can't go get D-Rose? Laugh out loud. Bad enough he's on your ass already. He then tweets, if you're squad, why didn't you get T-Slick or D-Rose? You got a bigger deal, right? And then ends his rant with, warning, I'm not soldier boy, this shit can get ugly. Chief Keefe soon fires back by tweeting, just bought a 2013 four-wheeler for $10,000, which was- Yeah, Dirk was trying to kill him with the street politics and shit, like, that shit ain't working on Chief Keefe, he was trolling his ass. Which was the exact amount of money needed to bond out Lil Dirk. Keefe then goes on by saying he is Oblock and closes the conversation by saying he can't believe Lil Durk was stunted for Twitter. Chief Keefe would then find himself in various legal situations throughout the rest of 2013. See, my boy was trying to stay out of the way, you feel me? Then he got caught up in a little situation, had to go do some time, and Durk and him was happy as fuck, bro. They was happy he went to jail. Upon being released from rehab, Keefe returned home only to find Oblock requesting $7,500 in cash to bail out an incarcerated Oblock member by the name of Trey Five. Trey Five was arrested on November 11, 2011 for aggravated battery and discharge of a firearm. He was being held in the Cook County Jail on a $250,000 bond and had been sitting in there for over two years at the time. So Chief Keefe was just getting out and King Born, Dirk, and the rest of the members wanted him to go bond him out. Yeah, what's up with that money, gang? Like, whoa, whoa, whoa. You, you know, we trying to get folks out. Vine. Yeah, how much I need? We need, we need 7,500 and shit. Vine. Now, this is a minute ago, I can't tell him. So now I get that. Folks get that. What do you say? I yeah, yeah, 7500. I just do that shit in the club and shit. Ooh. Yeah, so motherfuckers see folks. Motherfuckers take folks' train off his neck and shit. Motherfuckers take folks' shit. They go get the bomb money. Crazy thing is, Vaughn used to be with Chief Keith way more than Dirk. He didn't even rock with Dirk like that when he was young. Shit crazy. Keith for $7,500, giving them $25,000 in total to bail out Trey Five. Keefe made it seem like it was no big deal to give them the money, 
claiming he had just recently spent the same amount on shoes. But when asked to actually give them the money a week later, Chief Keefe said he threw it all in the club and ended up not giving them a dime. This soon resulted in a situation that would change Chicago drill music forever. So they felt played and got mad at Chief Keefe and started turning in real envious and opt out on him like crazy, turning on him. They wanted him to born dude out and then to come to find out, Trey, Trey was a rat, the one they wanted to born out. 2014. Chief Keefe was ordered to appear in a Chicago courtroom in regards to one of his many legal troubles at the time. While at court, members of O-Block such as Boss Top and OJ, along with some THF 4-6 members, allegedly broke into a home in Northfield that was being rented by Chief Keefe's former manager, Uncle Roe, and Keefe himself. Imagine stabbing somebody in the back who take you out of the hood and show you a better part of life, you feel me? Showing you a whole different side of Chicago, bro, and all you know is killing, killing, and drilling, and drilling. He take you, and you just stab him in his back because you feel like you weren't getting enough. That's what they did to him. That's crazy. I see why Chief Keefe left them boys in the past, bro. I would have did the same thing, or they was going to try to melee him. It's crazy. It's taking place. Stuff. One of the people inside the house, rumored to be Brandon Zerrer, a.k.a. Twin City CEO, based off these tweets, called 911 and reported that there was an armed robbery at the home. Then, moments later, Chief Keefe returned home from court where Boss Top would allegedly snatch Chief Keefe's iconic Johnny Dang piece off his neck, while O Block OJ would reportedly snatch GBE Capo's Jesus piece. So these clowns that Chief Keefe was feeding took but on themselves to rob him at gunpoint, and, and him and Capo, RP Capo, Major John Cop, they weren't robbing them. That's insane, bro. This would escalate the situation so to an entirely different level when a 33 year old man and associate of Chief Keefe by the name of Terrence Smith was unfortunately shot during this altercation. After the shots were fired, the group allegedly stole Chief Keefe's silver 2010 Jeep Grand Cherokee and fled the scene. Chief and then they doing all this so safe for a dude that's in jail because he ain't gonna get him, but to be real, it's just hood niggas hating on another nigga that's Nobody making Nobody said out. a word, which resulted in no arrests being made, but officers in the gang enforcement division released a document stating that the Black Disciples are having an internal conflict and listed three photos of the persons of interest in the situation with one of the people being Tyree Davis, a.k.a. Boss Top. The official document states... Then T. Key kept it silent. He ain't rat, he ain't say nothing, you feel me? The, he, he kept it to Internal the Discord, Oblock, Lamron, and Brick City 600. Chief Keefe didn't say much publicly about the robbery until three months later when he released a series of tweets stating, I clothed you, B. Put money in your lint ball pockets. I tried to glow you up. See, it worked. You don't look dirty no more. I'm nothing like these guys, but we look alike. Way higher form and fashion, and I'm loyal. I was giving little dirty folks clothes. Gang said I was giving little dirty folks clothes. It's crazy. Let's start the Money. I'm talking hundreds, hundreds, hundreds. Get them ones up out of here. Folks, they stole KK clothes out of her room. Detergent, deodorant, and all on bloods. They stretched that all right. Montclair's, earrings, Robins, Trues, Gucci bags, Pelly's, Louis Vuitton coats. I can go on and on. But when I found out, I bought it again. And then ends the discussion with, I gave you the glow so you can eat, not try to compete. Little dirty GD folks. Then he slapped him in the face again with the little dirty GD folks. <laughs> his game man was Chief Keefe insane. Chief Keefe would also later call out Boss Top by his real name by tweeting, Tyree Davis stole this too, with an Instagram link to a now deleted photo. Keefe would later do the same thing to his former go-to producer Young Chop by tweeting out, Old stuff Tyree Pittman stole while I was in court one day, with another Instagram leak to a now deleted photo. Yeah, he did the right thing. He cut everybody out, bro, and he just kept the real ones around, bro. I would have did the same thing, bro. He was supposed to let people just stab him in his back. GBE Koppel by wearing Koppel's stolen chain, while posted up in front of a TV playing Chief Keefe's Close That Door music video. At the end of the video, you can even see Lil Dirk pointing to Chief Keefe's chain on the TV and saying, We got that too. A few weeks later, Chief Keefe moved to Los Angeles, California, and hasn't returned back to Chicago, ever since he was betrayed by those he once called family. It's the little Dirk and uh, Chief Keefe situation, you feel me? I ain't gonna cap, I feel like Dirk and King won all them boss top all them was hating on Chief Keefe, you feel me? He, he was only one dude and he only can do so much, you feel me? And they just wanted him to give more, you feel me? When he was giving one another, they wanted him to basically be their daddy, like that shit crazy, like, so basically they're just 
throw tension tantrums and stuff like that when he don't give money to him and stuff or help with him out. Like, he ain't get them in trouble and stuff to go to jail. So, why he got to spend his hard work and money to get you out? That's crazy. So, they went to his house and started jacking stuff while he was in court and did all kind of stuff and then shot one of them people that was with him. It's crazy. But Chief Key kept his side. They ain't say nothing. You feel me? But Boss Top and Dirk and King Von all them was really hating on that boy because he was shining. You feel me? But he was taking on with him. I don't know. That's crazy. Then they talking about he can't go out there for a man. Cheeky can do what he want. He started the wave, bro. Y'all tripping. Talking about he, y'all, he don't think he should be safe for him to go to Chicago. What? Man, he's the legend. You feel me? That's like telling Boosie he can't go back to Baton Rouge to perform. Let's start that. That's not going to happen. You can't tell him nothing. You feel me? Just because he wasn't going to Chicago, y'all think he just won't go to Chicago. He going to show y'all. You feel me? But... Like I say, Dirk and them just was hating, you feel me, the whole time. Like, comment, and subscribe, and let me know what y'all think. Tell me what y'all think.